I have a really wild one for you today. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is speculation, meaning it's a theory I'm exploring. It's a thought exercise I'm doing. It's not coming directly to you as fact from primary sources. Continuation and cessation of spiritual gifts. Let's be specific. We're talking about speaking in tongues and prophesying. The others are legit. They pass through time. Prophesying in tongues are heavily debated. Some denominations use them. They've evolved them. They swear by them. Others think it's mumbo jumbo, particularly when they see the people doing the ooga booga 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 right? And we know that it's because always in every denomination, you're going to have people that are abusing these things. But I want to bring something interesting to your attention. It is undeniable that there is something to this from scripture alone. Let's start with the first time that something like this might be interpreted. The Tower of Babel scenario. They have marble, they have asphalt, they build a building. God says, uh-oh, they've worked together to do this particular thing. Now nothing they aim to do will be held from them. We better stop them. Then in the New Testament, after Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit is given, Peter gives a sermon where he speaks from the prophet Joel, and everybody understood it in their own language. That one's pretty easy to argue that it's okay, God used the Spirit to make sure they understand the language. But chapter 14 of 1 Corinthians, very interesting. The whole chapter is on tongues, and Paul is saying a lot about it. He's saying it exists. It's used. It's common. Let me read you a few parts of it real quick. Uh, pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, but especially those that prophesy. For he who speaks in tongues does not speak to men, but to God. For no one understands him. However, in the spirit, he speaks mysteries. But he who prophesies speaks edification and exhortation to the church. So we get it. Okay, prophecy helps the church. Tongues is a private thing. It is for the individual. It is them speaking to God. Have you ever heard of throat singing? Oh, wow. oh, 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 oh. It's running my time my... You can go online and watch people from all around the world doing this strange thing, which creates interesting vibrations. Have you ever heard of sacred geometry, the Fibonacci sequence, and cymatics? And resonates those particles in tune with the sound. Because when we think... We're not just sending out a wave which resonates the energy. We're sending out on a frequency outside of the range of human hearing. When we think a sound goes out, it resonates the energy around us to that sound. And sound takes random particles and turns it into astonishing form. And that's how this universe was created. In the beginning was the word, the word was sound. Frequency being used to create flower of life shapes and move things. I wonder if this is not humans learning about cymatics and how to use frequency as it was intended. In the beginning was the word, Egyptian song, Hindu, Om. It's an interesting theory. 